um, the Palace Theater. I I think yes. I was there at that same time because that's when Lori and I met, Lori Dorsey and I met there, and nobody knew I was coming, except I think Chad. And <laughs> so because I just show up, I just, <laughs> I never know when I'm going to be able to get away, so I just show up. But she does just show up. I do. <laughs> And usually Chad knows, sometimes he doesn't, but as a rule, he knows I'm coming. And it was, that was a great investigation. And that's where y'all that met. Was, that uh-huh. is where we met. And uh, she had her son, Braden with him, mm-hmm. which I love Braden to death. He's a young kid. Uh, how old is he now? He'll be 15. James? Well, then that means he was 13. But he was doing the EVP sessions so well that not only I, but even the race chasers just let him take over. He was that good. And he actually, we actually were at that diner Mm -hmm. and we got responses there in the office. We got some activity too. Remember he was, he was, we were using the flashlights and he would say, okay, you know, if you're doing this, whatever, like this flashlight, he would point to it and it would go off. Then he would go, okay, now if that is really you, then I want you to turn this one on and that one will go on. And it was like, mm-hmm. we were getting, and he was just like a professional uh, paranormal yeah, investigator. The guys just let him take over. Yeah, every single location, the guys just let him take over. And we got growled up up at the, uh, up on the second floor that six, Jamie six, did not Chris. like. And we got growled at twice. And I'm going, did you hear that? Yes, shut up. Don't say anything. (laughs) (laughs) Just ignore it. it. We got to do it again. And (laughs) said, did you hear that? Yes. (laughs) So it was a pretty interesting place, uh, that Palace Theater. That Palace Theater. A lot more. touched. And Jamie was with me the whole night. And, I mean, that's where we hit it off. and, And... we actually have investigated so many places, and it's just we are a great team together. She's great, and uh, I just love her style. We're similar styles, anyhow, and yes. similar beliefs, and that helps in a lot of ways when you're working together with somebody. And now we've gotten into the venture of uh, our haunted objects, which is a new venture that's going to be a lot of fun to do. Well, I oh, think yeah. it's already interesting, and I have to tell you that I get so tickled over the custody battle for Billy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have, but, we have joint custody with Billy. And that's he's what we with it. Billy. He wants Billy more than I have him, so he doesn't like it when Billy leaves. No, so. I, 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 people even ask me. I said he's on vacation in California. <laughs> <laughs> on vacation, but I do tell people we have joint custody, so she has to have them for a couple months out of the year. But yeah, every time she comes to Tennessee, she'll take them back to California, and then she'll bring them back when she comes back, you know. And and Billy, Billy is probably very traveled. <laughs> <laughs> well, I get tickled because one of the photos that I used in the video was. Of Jamie FaceTiming Billy. Oh yeah, and you have to we're, tell we're them we're playing on Snapchat. Okay, right. It was Snapchat oh my filter. god, the Snapchat pictures were too disgustingly cute <laughs> and kind of disturbing. But you know, because you I should didn't... see the reaction of people at the airport. They was like, "What's this doing?" I was like, "Oh, it's on it." And I was like, "Uh, oh, you did <laughs> I bet you get a clear birth through. <laughs> yeah. Because I won't put him in my suitcase. I have him in, in, you know, on the plane with me. He sits in my lap. And if I have an empty seat, he sits in that seat. Yes. And when he bad. rides with me, he, he I seat belt him down to the seat next to me. You know, or I put him on the center console if someone else is sitting on the seat. But, yeah, he doesn't just get thrown around. Well, I don't think the repercussions of that would be good. And it won't. And that's why we started this, you know, uh, Facebook page. And actually, we're gonna, uh, Chad is going to uh, work on developing a, a website for us, too. Because oh. uh, Ch- Chad Ghost on Weekends is uh, backing us and, and sponsoring us. So 
we are definitely gonna he's gonna do a fa uh, a website for us and we are he's gonna actually have us as guests at the Thomas House in April. Terrific. And we'll and we'll have on display a lot of our haunted dolls. Um and basically we wanna educate people on the dangers of handling these uh these objects um and uh they're nothing to play with and we treat them and it's not like we are treating the doll like weirdos that oh the you, you're playing with dolls no it yeah, has nothing not. to do with the doll it's respecting the entity that's attached to it and with uh, that felix i'm gonna have to interrupt you because we're up on our first break believe it or not time flies when you're well, having fun but this is going to be a three-minute break, and we will be right back. Okay. Broadcasting live out of Birmingham, Alabama. We are back. This is Fate Radio, and I am your host, Kat Hobson, with my guests, Felix Martin and Jamie Menshouse. We are discussing their haunted collection. We've discussed their backgrounds and coming together, and we're going to cover some more details on that. But we were talking about Billy, Felix. Yes, um, Billy is an interesting uh uh doll uh and uh he i got i acquired him as billy and both jamie and i were very interested in billy and that's why we ended up having joint custody um there i feel there's a child attached to him but the history of it was it belonged to a child and when he grew up as an adult, he kept the doll till the day he died. After he died, the family started hearing their the man's voice coming from the doll. So they did not want the doll anymore because it was haunting them. So I got 
a doll through a friend. And uh, Jamie, like I said, Jamie was also interested in it. So we got him together, I guess we could say. And um, But I feel mainly that there is a child attached to it. Uh, but I think now after having it for as long as I've had it, and I'm not sure we'd be, we've had it for about a year, haven't we, Jamie? Uh, mm, two years, because... Well, going on two years because we've yeah, had a therapist the last two two years. That's that's right. So recently, we also got the feeling of an adult attached to it. Mm-hmm. So we're new? still. Yeah, uh, he's come out recently. He uh, he's not been well, around that long. But fine. what I'm curious is, was the doll originally already have an attachment, and is that whether the little boy kept it as an adult because he was communicating with his probably so-called imaginary friend, right? But it already had an attachment, and is the gentleman attached to it too? So we're getting like. Because um, we feel the little boy, but now recently, and Jamie even had a incident with him in the hotel, was yep. it? Where yeah. she got it was a a, a man. Yeah. yeah. What was what was it that happened to you with him? Well, I was um, flying out to come to Scarefest, and I was bringing Billy back. And I, I was alone in the hotel room. So, you know, I'm a female alone in Vegas. So that's scary enough. And, um, my balcony connected to two other rooms. And so I was a little paranoid, you know, people walk in, but I went to bed and had all the lights out and I woke up because it felt like somebody was in my room. And normally I can tell the difference between spirit and, you know, living people. But this felt like a living person. So I jumped out of bed and was looking around my room trying to find it. I was hearing a a man's voice. Really? And when I realized that it was coming from Billy, um, it kind of surprised me because we've all, we always had the interaction with the kid spirit. And I was like, it was something about don't go. um, it, It was something about saying, don't go to Tennessee. And I was like, just shut up and go back to bed. We're going. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like a woman with authority. (laughs) Right. And uh, so once I, once I said, shut up, you know, it it left me alone. Um, But uh, so I told Felix, I was like, Billy did not like, he didn't want to come back, which I always joke with Felix saying, you know, Billy wants to be with me, not you. Um, So I do know uh, that. Yeah. They was, (laughs) yeah. But, um, yeah, it was crazy because I've never experienced the man. It was always the little boy. And, you know, it was that nurturing instinct, you know, that motherly instinct when it came to Billy. But with the the guy, I was like, what in the world is going on? And then at um, Scarefest, you know, me and Felix weren't there. But, you know. We went to eat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. What he was saying beforehand, you know, how we handle our objects, you know, we don't treat them like they're, they're a toy. Right. Um, you know, we respect the entities that are attached to them. Um, but uh, something, I can't remember who it was, but somebody mixed the, the story up. It was the and guy, they, the new guy. Was it Jeff? It was Jeff. It was, was Jeff. there. I was down there as this happened. Oh, oh, really? See, I didn't know you were there. I, I know was, Darla and Daniel had their backs turned. I was I in the um, WBHM booth with Shelly from Old Potting Jail. We were there together. Uh, oh, okay. So you were, oh, that's right. You were in the booth next door. Mm-hmm. Um, but what happened was Jeff was behind the, the desk there and someone came in and asked him what's the deal with the dolls. So he points at Jack. Jack is uh, Jamie's Jack in the Box that has a boy attached to him. And he goes, this one is good. And then he points at Billy and says, this one's evil. He did and not say evil. I didn't hear that. 
Oh my goodness! He was either evil or um, he's bad. bad. It yeah. was or one, bad. Of the, one of the one two. Of the 